All right, I wanted to say a little bit about the grade book. Hopefully you can see this pretty well. Here's one page of about 20 in this sample grade book. Okay, it's huge because I have classes of four, 500 plus students. Um, but regardless of the size, this is kind of how it works. And you see in this case, I have an exam 1, E1, at the top column, or the top row, E2, and F for final, HW for homework, and L for lab with the total points there. What I did is I uh, just weighted all the scores according to my syllabus and calculated the total in Excel you see on the right hand column. Now at the very bottom right hand corner you see the average and the standard deviation which in this case is 64.453 uh, for the average and 12.312 for the standard deviation. For my class this is a pretty typical at the end of the quarter pretty typical um, average and standard deviation. Um, usually I'm lying in the low, in, somewhere in the 60s for an average and a standard deviation of 12 to 15 is pretty normal for me. But again, it's going to depend on the class and the difficulty of the class and uh, that sort of thing. But for me, because there's so such a big population, i.e. more than 500 students at a time, um, these averages don't change very much. So I almost have a fixed curve but not really. There is variation depending on uh, some certain factors. So, but what I do, you can see, um, and I uh, did include the SID numbers or the student ID numbers. But I don't. I'm not looking at people's names when I make these, um, and uh, most of the instructors aren't either. So this is just unfortunately we might know you in office hours or from lecture. But here you're just a number, and that's your student ID number, to make it as fair as possible. And here I'm showing five significant figures in the total column. Uh, of course, in Excel, you know you can go even further. The problem is sometimes students will think, hey, uh, can you round up my score uh, so that, you know, I, I can get a higher grade? Well, no, it's already been rounded here, and even could go to more significant figures than five. So rounding's not an issue in your script. Rounding's not going to raise or lower your grade at all. Um, it, it wouldn't be even fair to do so. Now, uh, what about mis, uh, you know, things that are graded or entered incorrectly? Well, those things you want to let your instructor know of. Uh, in my case, rarely, I have usually about two and for every 500 students. Uh, find mistake. That's about one third of one percent. Uh, just because even if there is mistake found, rarely does that take you over the grade line. Especially like a lab or a homework thing, those are uh, weighted very low even though there are a lot of points. So, so even though the points are high, the small weighting causes them to not affect your grade significantly. And usually the averages, you can see the average for lab in this case was 87.83 with only a standard deviation of 8. <laughs> so that's a spike. Lab is a spike. Homework's a little wider uh, with a 76 uh, percent. So and that's in this case because a lot of students didn't do the homework that quarter so they got zeros. <laughs> so that's why the standard deviation is so high for the homework. But in this case, if you're in this class, you say, oh, it means about 64, 65. I add 12 to that, so what's that? 64 plus 12, 76. So that 76 would be a high B, because this mean here would be a high C. Okay, and you kind of figure out your grade like that, according to the mean and the standard deviation. Sometimes, just one more thing, sometimes uh, students will think, oh, I can't believe I took this class the wrong quarter, because there's really high mean this quarter, uh, where other quarters it's been lower. Again, that, that's not going to affect your grade. Uh, the other quarter, if they had a lower mean, that means your scores would have been lower too uh, in that case. So you would have been getting lower scores on that case. So it's not really going to even matter what quarter you take or what students you take it with. You're essentially going to get uh, the same score because you're going to do the same with respect to the mean.